Can you believe it? This little power bank in my hand supports up to 120 watt Mi turbo charge and 100 watt PD charge. This is the latest CookTech 10 power bank. In my opinion, this power bank is worth to be purchased by all Xiaomi users. So let's see how it performs. About the brand CookTech, you guys can check out our review video for CookTech 20 here, another impressive newly released power bank. Anyway, here I still want to give you a brief introduction since there are some fun facts about the brand. CookTech is actually a brand under Xiaomi's eco chain, specializing in portable power solutions like power banks, chargers, and other charging accessories. And you might heard of another brand called ZMI, which has been merged with CookTech. So the new products of CookTech actually come out from the same team. Again, the fact is that the new CookTech products would sell out quite easily whenever they go on sale in Chinese market. There are two reasons for it. Firstly, because their products always come with a very good value for money and secondly, because their products are somehow irreplaceable. For example, if you want to buy a power bank that supports the high power Mi Turbo Charge, then CookTech is the only choice. Now let's do the unboxing and check out what we got here. The CookTech 10 power bank comes in a simple black package that contains a power bank, user manual, and a 6N cable. It is recommended to use the special 6N cable when charging Xiaomi devices. In actual test, when connecting the Xiaomi 14 Pro with normal cable, it can activate up to 100 watt charge. Well, pretty cool. But using this 6N cable, you will activate a 120 watt Mi Turbo charge here. I'm happy the special cable is included. This power bank has a capacity of 10,000 million, 36 watt hour, and weighs 288 grams. It comes with a CookTech family design, the same silver color as the dominant tone, black for some decorative color, and this blue line on the I.O. port. I personally like this design a lot, as it is really subtle and sophisticated. There are textures on the black part, which gives solid holding in hands with excellent grip. There's a small TFT screen on the front of the power bank, which can display the remaining power, charge, or discharge time left, as well as the working status of each port. This is really cool as we do see many power banks coming with such an info panel, especially for a 10,000 million portable power bank. I mean, it's not that huge, a highly priced model with 10,000 capacity or above, so it's impressive to see the lovely but informative screen here. And even if you don't want to waste power to drive this screen, you can also make the screen stay off manually. Well, good job CookTech. Of course, my favorite thing about it is still the compact size. You can see how small it is. I can put it in my backpack or even my pocket, and it's not a burden even if I carry it around every day. The Type-C port supports up to 120W Mi Turbo Charge, along with the 100W PD and 60W PPS. The A port supports the QC 3.0 and the UFCS protocol, it's worth noting that the A port doesn't support the Mi Turbo Charge, so if you want to charge your Xiaomi devices, it's better to stay with the Type-C port. And not just for Xiaomi phones, I would suggest having the Type-C port for the latest phones, tablets, and laptops, as the PD and PBS charging has been widely applied for the latest years. Anyway, I also did a complete test of the charging protocols for these two charging ports. The results are pretty solid. You can just take a screenshot if you need it. Of course, the most important thing is how it performs when charging up Xiaomi devices. I chose several popular Xiaomi devices to test and there's no doubt that the CookTech 10 power bank can activate the highest power turbo charge for all of them, which is almost the same as we got on the premium CookTech 20. So if you are a Xiaomi fan, this is the ultimate EDC power bank for you. Well, not just for Xiaomi devices, the results with other brands' devices also brought a little surprise. For example, I was also surprised by its performance with the Vivo X100 Pro and Honor Magic 6 Pro, both of which can have high charging power on the PPS protocol. So maybe the CookTech 10 is a smarter choice than those expensive official power banks. In addition, since CookTech 10 power banks support the 100 watt PD protocol, it can also juice up laptops. I chose a 14-inch MacBook Pro for the test. You can see the output power here. Since it's only 10,000 million, the CookTech 10 obviously is more appropriate for charging phones and other smart wearable devices. The CookTech 10 power bank supports 90 watt input power. During the test, it started with 86.2 watt input power. After 10 minutes, the power was dropped to 50 watt, which is still a pretty high power. Eventually, it only took 45 minutes to get fully charged. The crazy thing is that it only takes 10 minutes to charge up to 43%, which is definitely a good solution for some emergency charging needs. 
In the stress test, the Type-C port was used to charge the Xiaomi 14 Pro and the A port to charge the Vivo X100 Pro. The temperature was measured up to 15 minutes and as you can see, it has excellent temperature control just like the other CookTech products we have tested. Meanwhile, I also tested the Ripple which was only 10 mV at no load and 50 mV at 100 watt output. So who is the CookTech 10 Powerbank for? No doubt it is the best for Xiaomi fans. No matter you are using Xiaomi, Redmi, or Poco, it can activate the Mi Turbo Charge with the maximum power. For Xiaomi fans, this power bank is the best choice at 10,000 mAh capacity. If you don't have a Xiaomi device, you can refer to the test result in the video to make your decision. After all, the Mi Turbo Charge is like a bonus compared to other third-party power banks. Even if you exclude the Mi Turbo Charge, this is still a very good model. So how to choose between CookTech 10 and 20? Here's a very good example in our studio for your reference. My colleague and I value different features of power banks. For me, I would go for the most powerful power bank I can carry in the air, such as the CookTech 20, while my colleague would go for a more compact one, such as this CookTech 10 power bank. So, which one would you choose? Let us know in the comment section. And if you want to know more about this power bank, click the link down below. I'm Wei Bangs from China. See you next time. Thank you.